James Kaufman, World News Report, today, August 8th, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we have very, very calm solar winds and calm solar plasma currently. But I believe because of the M-class solar flares, NOAA now has us under a G2 moderate geomagnetic storm watch for the 9th through the 11th of August. We did have a lot of Earth-facing M-class solar flares. They have a couple of different bumps in the road, as you can see here. Uh, we will look at that. But currently, it looks like smooth sailing with the biggest KP index today, a 3, it looks like. Bigger than I thought it would be. This is our estimated planetary KP index, updated recently and used by NASA and NOAA. It's kind of a outline of well where we are with solar winds and plasma and this is the easy way we'll jump over to discover to verify this being the facts now with this said it looks like we're having all types of events happening here our shields are up which makes no sense whatsoever and we really haven't seen any plasma except for one minute that went up to 11.50 break the space weather threshold at 10 centimeters cubed so we've not been hit by anything and our solar winds are way down in the 400s and 300s most all of the day down to about 350 temperatures are also completely normal i don't know why the shields are up and well, why our BZGSM looks the way it does? Very interesting. Our shields would normally be down in a situation like this. Calm. With that said, we've had six more M-class, well, five more M-class solar flares and one X flare. You can see an M flare here, uh, right about 2 UTC time. Another one falling up right about 3 UTC time. And then we see a third, fourth. This might be the fifth here. I believe it is, believe it or not. See if I can get it in the groove. A 1.08 M flare. So we had five M flares and we've just had an X flare. And we're going to figure out how big it is. So it's going to have been an X 1.31, not yet even on the list over at spaceweatherlive.com. I've already determined what sunspot generated it, and you'll be easily able to do the same thing. Uh, we'll quickly go over the fact that all of these sunspots here that are producing strong C flares and M flares are all beta delta gamma unbelievable we have 3781 3780 3777 and 3774 so this last x1.3 flare was generated by ar 3777 i.e god's number right so that is the big flare of the day not down yet we will take a look at that we have 25% chance of X-class solar flares, 100% chance of M-class solar flares, and a 101% chance of C-class solar flares with our current C baseline running right under a C5. We used to report those flares. Never seen this many complex sunspots Earth-facing. All right, so let's go over them. 3780 here, 3781 here, 3770. 7 here and 3774 here. This trio is very dangerous looking. And believe it or not, this is a complex sunspot as well. We have one that even looks more complex that might be reverse polarity coming around that has not been named yet. It looks quite dangerous. Over two goes solar ultraviolet imager 195 angstroms. We can see that X flare directly Earth facing. Looks like it had to have produced 
acryl mass ejection. That was just over an X1 flare. So it wasn't an X14 solar flare, but that is a big event there. And that is Sunspot AR 3777, 3777, God's number. A little wake up call for the devil, perhaps. All right, so we've been having a nice C baseline, lots of strong C flares and M flares all day long. And then we're going to run into our X flare right about now over North America again. Lots of radiation hitting all of North America, including Canada, the United States, Central America, even uh, Colombia, and even parts of Venezuela and Peru, perhaps. What a large, strong, long-lasting flare, by the way. I didn't realize how long-lasting it was until I actually watched it. And everyone else is getting their healthy dose of radiation via C++ flares. Now, I don't think NASA will have modeled the X flare yet, but we will take a look. Uh, we're expecting, here we go, tomorrow. And this is going to be, well, about 11 in the morning, something like that. A G1 going into a G2 geomagnetic storm from all the M flares that we've seen over the last three days. They were all Earth facing, they were all generated by these complex sunspots. Uh, all, we're, all we need now are several. X flares at once to really tear what's left of our atmosphere up. And you can see it fluctuates from a G1 to G2. They've got it lasting 9, 18, uh, well, 21 hours in a geomagnetic storm. I know we got peppered several days with five or more M flares. We'll see how they do again. All right, so this is what they see coming. Looks like multiple flares. Earth is the green dot. And it looks like maybe a glancing blow followed by more of a direct hit or another glancing blow from the other side. Uh, they have plasma only going up to about 15 centimeters cubed for both CMEs. And they have solar winds that look like they're going up to about 700 kilometers per second. And they've cleared it up to nine, which is very odd to see. Very odd indeed. We should see more plasma than that if the solar winds are going to be at 700 kilometers per second. Makes very little sense, but nothing though it does make sense. And they're hardly right ever. All right, looking at STO HMI magnetogram, we see we have some ugly looking sunspots. I would argue that both of these are reverse polarity being in the northern hemisphere with the black over white or negative over positive, negative over positive. Now, I understand we're in a magnetic pole flip and we're at the beginning of that pole flip and that's going to probably have a lot to do with all the reverse polarity sunspots. My question is, is, why do they always switch to regular polarity after they've come around the limb? Down here in the south, negative over positive, negative over positive, negative over positive. This is 3777 that just generated the X flare. And these are the three uh, that have been given us problems along with 3780 up here. Over to Soho, 284 angstroms. That coronal hole just never quite formed. These are the three th uh, sunspot groups or more that we've been dealing with, along with this one. And really, this is just to illustrate all of the ugly-looking sunspots coming around the limb. I believe that uh, this was taken this morning at 7.06, 6.06 Central Time. And by now, or by tomorrow, these sunspots are going to be named. And they look very active. Now, we get a little freak show from NASA. We've been looking at NOAA's materials. Here, they don't model any of the M flares over the last three or four days that I suspect NOAA believes are inbound. Uh, and they have a flare here. I don't believe it's the X flare. It must be something that occurred yesterday. 
and they have it impacting now watch here on the 11th or 12th so we're under current watch for the 9th and 11th per NOAA and going over to NASA's Goodard is with spiral we have a direct hit from a coronal mass ejection on their spiral that appears to look like it impacts Earth on the 11th or 12th. 12th, it looks like. So I think this is a separate event. I don't know why they're not modeling all of the CMEs. Very, very strange. They definitely used to. Every time they put one up, they take the other one away. God bless you guys. Please share. Please subscribe. Always remember, anything's possible. Bizarro world.